And what we're talking about this morning is the topic of systems, and go ahead and write this out. Systems of equations. And the entire goal of systems of equations is to find the one crossing point between the red line and the blue line. These systems are going to cross in one and only one spot, and we'll call it x comma y. And there were three ways to find <coughs> uh, that solution. The first one is graphing, where you just plot y equals mx plus b and y equals mx plus b, and then physically look and see where do they cross. That's the easiest way. The second way, which is called substitution, is something we are not going to do. Substitution can get kind of hairy, a little bit uh, confusing every once in a while. So we're going to focus on step number three. Process number three, and that's called elimination. And the whole point of elimination <coughs> is that we're going to add two equations together, and we're going to see what cancels out. So for instance, let's take a look at equation x plus y equals 12. The other equation is x minus y equals 2. And so what we're going to do is we're going to add these two equations together. We're going to add the top one plus the bottom one. And when we add the top plus the bottom, we have 1x plus 1x is 2x. And we'll see here the y's, y plus a negative y, they cancel out. They got eliminated, and that's the goal, is so that one of them gets eliminated. In this case, it happened to be y. So we continue adding together. We got 12 plus 2 is 14. And from here, we just solve for x. Divide by 2, and we got x equals 7. So in our solution set, the x value is 7. <coughs> now in order to go back and find y, all we got to do is take this 7 and plug it into either this x or this x. And the good thing is it doesn't matter. I'm going to take the top one, just so it's simple. I've got 7 plus y equals 12. And from here I just do a simple uh, minus 7 to both sides. And I have y equals 12 minus 7 is 5. So my solution is 7 comma 5. And we always got to remember what the solution means. It is the crossing point of this equation and this equation. So if we were to graph those, turn them into y equals mx plus b, they're going to cross at 7 comma 5. One of them is going to look like this. The other is going to look something like this. So whatever they happen to look like, but they're going to cross at this point, 7 comma 5. Okay? So let's practice another one. Just a nice basic elimination equation. We're going to add them together. And like I said, go ahead and write these out in your notes. I'll try and go a little bit slower. Uh, but let's take a look at this one. 3x plus 4y equals 9. And negative 3x minus 2y equals negative 3. And like we always start out with, we're going to add them together. And I should also add that before you, that you, before you uh, combine them together, they have to be in what's called standard form, with the x on top of the x, the y on top of the y, and the uh, constant on top of the other constant. So once they're all stacked up nice and neat, we're going to add them together. So when we add them together, what do we get? Well, 3x plus negative 3x is 0. It got eliminated, which is what we want. 4y plus a negative 2y is 2y. You got 9 plus a negative 3, which is 6. Divide both sides by 2, and you got y equals 3. So again, in my solution set, the y value is going to be 3. 
Now to find my x value, I'm going to take the 3, and I'm going to plug it into either this y or this y. And like I said before, it does not matter which one you do. Personally, I, I like to choose the one that has the smaller numbers or the one that has the least amount of negative signs. So in that case, I'm going to choose the top one. So we're going to say 3x plus 4 times 3. And again, this 3 right here is this one. Equals 9. From here, we just do a little bit of simplification and solving. So I have 3x plus 12 equals 9. If I subtract 12 from both sides, I got 3x equals negative 3. And divide by 3 on both sides, I got a value of x equals negative 1. And again, always looking back to what this solution means, it is the crossing point of this equation and this equation. It's the one point that's going to make both of them true. Okay? So we're going to take a break.